Hello everybody, Dave the Rave, Roving the Rock here um, and again I'm not telling you where I am although you'll probably work it out quite quickly um, I've, come, I've come quite far away from the south end of Arran and uh, I've done it deliberately because the building that I'm in has only just uh, reopened to the public since it was closed in February 2022 so it's been shut for over two years um, for repairs um, to the masonry I'm just actually shooting back out the door here so you can see <laughs> what's beyond um, Historic Environment Scotland discovered issues which urgently needed to be addressed following high level masonry program inspections um, ok so that's the view out the door and while I'm here <laughs> that's the view out the window <laughs> ok you've either been here or you haven't we'll find out this is inside so this building's been here for 800 years since the 1200s it's a ruin but it's a maintained ruin we're allowed to wander about in it and I'm going to do that right now because I haven't been here for a while, nobody has ok um, I think I'm going to have to tell you where I am anyway uh, just because I'm going to be walking around it and actually getting into every little place that I can get to so this is Lacranza Castle um, if you didn't guess it very windy day although the ferry is sailing fine and that is Lacranza there we go that's where you park the car Okay, let's go in. We'll do the ground floor first, eh? Right, through this little door. To this dark room in here with an arch ceiling. And into another area here. Storage cellar, 18th century. This corner of the castle came crashing down during a wild storm in 1897. Okay. Imagine how big this place was. If it was all here. And just the size of that door. I mean that that was well, just above my waist. Amazing. Right, we'll go up onto that balcony next, I think. But not from here, because the stairs gone, so we'll be coming around in our direction. Let's go back out again. <laughs> under the wee door another little hole there even this door is low ok all these signs everywhere old doorway 18th century giving access to the hall from the kitchen beyond note the serving hatch to the left sight of window 13th century originally lighting the Lord's Hall the hall, the main living room in the 13th century castle and originally running the full length of the building shortened in the 18th century by the cross wall on the left and this is a storage basement divided into smaller cellars in the 16th century by the cross wall on the left the window, 12th, 13th century, blocked up in the 18th century. Have a look around here. Oh, that's the stairs there. Okay. Original entrance, 13th century, reduced to a window in the, in the 18th century after lately and later completely blocked. The deep square hole to the right held the drawbar securing the door against a battering ram there it is, there's the hole for the drawbar we'll go in this little bit here 
This is the prison where, pr prison where criminals were held whilst awaiting trial. The deep square slot in the opposite wall housed the drawbar for securing the door from the outside. Okay, so that's over there. I'm going in the prison, I'm not going to see anything of course. I can tell you, it's a room you can stand up in, it's about nine foot high. And that's it. What is it, six foot across by five foot wide. Prison. Okay, not much fun in there. That's the ground floor. We'll go up I think. Window blocked in the 16th century. A little steep staircase. The stair to the upper floor and battlements of 13th century castle blocked off in the sixth in the 18th century and replaced by the spiral stair beside the present entrance. Yeah. So I've got this stair here, but this one's it still exists, but we're not allowed up it. It would be great to get up there and see. <laughs> Gosh, if I was a kid, I'd be straight up there like a shot. But it's got two bars blocking me, so I'm not going to go up there. Even though I really want to. The kid's still in there somewhere, isn't it? And I would, if I wouldn't get in trouble. <laughs> Definitely. Well, there we go. Can't go up that one. So, I'll go up the other stair. On the other side. Back to the prison again. We'll just go up there. Site of window, 13th century, originally lighting the Lord's Hall. Okay, let's go up here. The stair we are allowed up. Staircase. 16th century, cave access to the kitchen, hall and private chambers of the redesigned interior. Okay, that's the door we just went through. That's where we're going for a view of the castle. And this is the curved stair that I'm walking around to get up here. Sure is windy. Okay, so that's just where I went in for the other stair, along there, started to go up and then it got stopped. So that stair, would it take me all the way up to the top of that? A lot higher than I am. Anyway, this is where we are, I'll just go and have a look around the corner. Here we are in that balcony we saw right at the beginning. Get a view over to the mainland there. And Lochranza and Newton Shore over there. Very windy. There's a sign here. 16th, no, 18th century kitchen. The door from the kitchen to the hall was here. The serving hatch to the right. The fireplace was in the now missing wall to your left. The upper floors housed private chambers. Okay, that was it there. There's a lot of height in this building. That's me looking up even from this height. It must have been amazing to go up there. Gosh, the fireplace. See, there's a chimney here. No, just blocked off. There we have it. Lachranza Castle, open to anybody, doesn't cost anything to get in, the door was open, 
My only regret, that other stair took me to the top of this. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. But I'm not allowed. And I'm not going to go up there. I'll go back down the stairs. I'll read you what it says in a bit of paper. The reason I came here is because I read a story in the Iron Banner yesterday. Um, and it said... I'll go in this wee bit here. Okay, so... The masonry programme inspections were part of a wider initiative undertaken across the 336 heritage sites managed by HES, Historic Environment Scotland, and involved risk assessments and sample surveys to ascertain the impact of climate change. Locally, they also investigated the scale of deterioration caused by a number of factors, including the materials used in the building's construction, its age and physical location. The assessment at Lochranza Castle resulted in access restrictions being put in place due to the danger of falling masonry. Now that the necessary repairs have been carried out, visitors are once again able to explore the attraction which boasts over 800 years of rich history. The building was originally thought to be a tower house constructed in the 1500s, however detailed analysis of the ruins in the mid 20th century revealed the site had originally been built as a hall house in the late 1200s or early 1300s. Back through the wee lower door again. There we go. Okay. Back into the main area. Originally two storeys high beneath battlements, Lochranza Castle featured a lord's lodging on the upper floor, whilst the ground floor had a storage area with a tradesman's entrance and a murder hole directly above. A trap door through which defenders could attack intruders with arrows, stones and other projectiles. The hall house was converted to a tower house in a single building phase in the later 1500s. This large-scale renovation is thought to have been carried out by one of the Montgomery Earl, Earls of Eglinton and who held this part of Arran in the 1500s. Um, Liz Grant, regional visitor and community manager at HES, said We are thrilled to be welcoming visitors back to Lochranza Castle, understanding and helping to mitigate the new, ch the new challenges facing our historic sites is important and following the completion of the works the castle can be experienced and enjoyed again. It's free to visit, open daily April the 1st to September the 30th between half nine and half five. Okay I'm back outside now, that's the castle and I'm at high tide so it's still got a lot of land around it, got a spit of land, just a narrow strip that takes you to the to the rest of the village. See on each side of that. All the way around there. This is what it looked like in the 1200s. What it says is this was the hall house. The original building was the hall house with storage in the ground floor and chambers above. The great hall on the first floor could accom accommodate crowds of tenants bringing their rents in kind. It was also used for dispensing justice. The McSween Lords of Knapdale probably built the castle in the 1200s. It passed to the Stuarts of Monteith and became a royal castle when Robert Stuart became king in 1371. For defence, the ground floor entrance of the hall house was heavily defended. Those inside could shoot at their enemies through the murder hole in the ceiling. A timber stair leading to the first floor door could be hauled up when necessary, and gun loops um, in the new castle show that the defence remained a priority in the 1500s. This is the image of the castle from the 1500s. The tower house. In the 1450s, the king granted Locranza to the Montgomerys. 
They held the castle for the next 250 years. In the 1500s, the castle's owner decided to modernise it. Two new storeys and a tower provided extra room. The old spacious interior was subdivided into smaller, more private, family-oriented chambers. Gone were the days where a laird had to greet all his vassals in one vast hall. Okay, so there's the picture there. I quite like the fact you've even got people outside it and how they're dressed. I like that. And going back to the 1200s. That's windy. It's difficult here. There we go. There's the timber stair. Just before I go, one last look at the castle from the other side of the bay, along at the Newton shore. Just a different angle. You can see the wee spit of land that it's sitting on. Okay, Dave the Rave, Rovinrock, over and out. Cheers.